Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. This is Black Heart Sign of Black and again, you know what it is. Um, I'm going to ask you to hit that share button and you already know why. I'm going to cut straight to it. This one has to be short because I got to do another recording. To get straight to it, it comes down to this. Uh, I'm not calling the matriarchal minions, uh, as Kendra D calls them, by the name Mandingo or Mandinka. I'm not referring to the tribe in Africa from which many of us do have some ancestry, in which I know I have on my mother's side. Um, I am calling them Mam Dingoes, M-A apostrophe A-M as in Mary, and then the rest of the spelling is the same Dingo, no space in between. You can hyphenate it if you want to. Matriarchal Mam Dingoes is what I'm saying. If you were Mandinka, if you love the Mandinka, if you respect the Mandinka, do not take offense. Because they're not being insulted. Uh, I'm not insulting them, and I'm not complimenting these matriarchal minions who like to go up against black men that ain't do nothing, that didn't do anything wrong, um, and then notice something and make voice the observation. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and insult th those men, and I'm not going to sit up and compliment who do insult them simply because they made the correct observations. Kendra D. referred to them as uh, gynocrat goons and matriarchal minions. And that's creative, actually. I can't think of something that's that creative, but I believe it was Dwight Hayes, one of my subscribers. Um, shout out to Brother Hayes and uh, to Abdullah. Um, and a shout out to Bilal Abdullah, um, who makes uh, the series Muslim and Black in America. <laughs> that was a good video you dropped, Bilal Abdullah, about black folks needing to be on code. That was excellent. He's bridging the gap between the practicality of uh, the revelation and the spirituality of the revelation or the older tradition that is older than the oppression of black people systematically. So, yes. Mam Dingo. If you hear me say Mam Dingo, um, and I'm going to try to pronounce it more clearly from here on out to be sure, but if you hear me say Mam Dingo, I'm talking about one of those niggas that wants to always back up the women when they're wrong and not even when they're right and wants to go against men when we're right uh, and not necessarily just when we're wrong. And if you say, if you hear me say Mand Mandingo with an N, as in Nancy in front of the D, I'm probably more likely to call it Mandinka because that's how I hear them pronounce it. Um, they're more likely to refer to themselves as uh, men, uh, Mandinke people. When they're talking to each other, I hear them say that. So I'm likely to do that. That's what you're probably going to hear from me. Um, so that being said, yeah, I'm going to be more careful, inshallah. And uh, to any Mandinkas and to any who love them, Forgive me if I didn't pronounce it more clearly before, but no, you were never being insulted. Um, certainly not for something here that you didn't cause and you had no hand in causing. I hope this has been a benefit. Assalamu alaikum and black power.